Okay, so for this one, the question is, uh, you know, A, C, 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 or D. Um, okay, the factorial and this thing suggest um, ratio test. Okay, so I will go ahead and do that. A n plus 1 divided by A n uh, in absolute value. Okay, the absolute value just kills, you know, it kills this alternating factor. So I'm not going to even copy it here. So a n plus 1. What I'm going to do is just take this thing, and anywhere I see an n, I'm going to replace it with an n plus 1. So on the bottom I get n plus 1 to the power of n plus 1. Okay, on the bottom, you just get uh, no change. Um, flip and multiply. And uh, kind of put like factors together. First factor simplifies easily enough. Um, second factor, you can move that exponent and out. <clears throat> now, this item here is. perhaps familiar to you. Let's look at the corresponding function, functional limit. Now, okay, so this is one of these things where you do the ln of both sides, right? So lim ln x, x plus 1, yeah, x equal to ln y, uh, lim x ln is ln y, uh, just so we get the limit. So we want to use L'Hopital's rule, right? So we force that x downstairs. And then we use L'Hopital's rule giving us uh, oh my gosh. Oh, no. On the numerator, I get ln x minus ln x plus 1. That's a nice little. So I have not, I'm not going to use L'Hopital quite yet. I want to simplify the numerator here so as to avoid an awful derivative. <clears throat> so I did that. Now I use L'Hopital. H gives me 1 over x minus 1 over x plus 1 all over negative 1 over squared. That's ln y. This is a lot of work for one question, isn't it? Well, I'll show you how you can avoid this nonsense later. And what do I get? Oh boy. Negative x plus x squared over. Uh, x plus 1 is ln y. Hmm. Well, I guess I have to do a common denominator, don't I? Okay, this is getting tedious, but what do I get? Limit uh, minus x over x plus 1 is ln y. And then I get uh, minus 1 is ln y. So y is equal to e to minus 1. Okay, that's my limit.
that was probably not worth it. But have a look at that, copy it down, pause if need be. Um, no. So what have I found? I found the limit here is, uh, this goes, goes to E minus one. E minus one divisions in there. And this goes to infinity. Okay, so for overall, I have uh, gotten something I was not expecting to get. What did I do wrong here? Uh, oh, oh, no. Oh, no. I lost some. I made a mistake. Where's my mistake? Oh, I see it now. My mistake is this exponent here. Aha. Uh -huh. That should be a plus one. It should be n plus one. So what will that change? That will give me a one over n plus one out here. Um, erase that. So what's happening? New color. Uh, that is canceling with that. So my limit here is just uh, one over E, which is less than one. Uh -huh. Yeah, that's a bit more. That's what I was expecting. So my limit is less than one, therefore, Summation and uh, was it factorial over n to the n is absolutely convergent. <clears throat> um, let me just explain some of the footwork I did here. I had n over n and I had n plus one to the n plus one. And then I wrote that as n to the n. I wanted the exponents to be the same. So I did that. Giving me n to the n. Oops. Giving me n over n plus 1 to the n times 1 over n plus 1. Okay, so I did that. 